Let them do that. To what? The challenging job. Hello. Salam, everybody. Today, I'm going to present to you something about leadership. Good leaders direct, develop, and delegate. Before I begin, let's check out my profile. This is my profile with my certificate and my book publication. Okay, you have bought me. Let's get it on. Good leaders direct, develop, and delegate. This is the roadmap that we are going to explore. The sample, then the strategy, the flexibility, the direct, the develop, and talking about training and coaching, the delegate. And of course, that's part of this uh, conclusion. Let's move on. Check left. The D Corporation CEO for about 20 years since 1980. In 1980, 1980, he conducted knowledge sharing through the Corporate Executive Council. Forum for the expertise, and this is in the duration of three solid days every quarter. This gathering is a few weeks before the each business quarter. And what is the basic strategy for this? Of course, the basic strategy is. Know yourself and your people or your followers. Know the enemy or the competitor. And know the better thing. Must. The competition. These leaders have to make sure that all the people, all these people, are fit and competent for the competition. That's for sure. These leaders know how to deal with any kind of followers. The high competency followers, the moderate competency followers, and the low competency followers. They have to be possible. This is a diagram which I would like you to see and to check out there is three kinds of process specifically in general. Let's get into it. First the direct, two direct and uh, red color and to develop in the green color and to delegate in blue color. And you can see that on the Horizontal axis, we have the competency of the followers, and on the vertical axis, we have the duration of the interaction. Interaction of what? The drone. Now, let's check out the first column, the left column of this diagram. Focus on the low competency of the followers. The first is the short duration of the action. This is directing. And secondly, the medium duration of the interaction. This is training. Third is the long duration of the interaction. This is clustering. And then let's focus on the center column. First, first is 
for the short duration is discussion. And secondly, for the medium duration of the interaction is the mentoring. And third, but this is including also not just the moderate competency, this one or this color also including the higher competency of the scholar. It is what we call coaching. Coaching should be done, should be conducted in the for the moderate competency and the high competency of the follower. And let's check out the side column. We have seminary after the coaching. Seminary is the moderate moderate duration of the interaction. And lastly, it's the highest position or the highest, the most competent follower is the delegating process. This is what I call leader, follower, competency, duration based interaction. So this interaction between leader and follower. You could see the, or you could read the explanation written in my leader follower competence situation based interaction is interaction between leader and follower or guru with the student. And this is based on competency and duration of the interaction. And we have eight models in three by three matrix. This is it. And let's now continue with the learning process. This is based on RBC, the revised room afternoon. We have remembering and applying for the direction. We have remembering and understanding in training. We have understanding and applying in lecturing. Then we have applying and analyzing for coaching, applying for mentoring, and analyzing for discussion. And next, we are going to check the process from the moderate competency to high competency of the world. Here we have analyzing and applying for discussion and mentoring. And applying and analyzing for coaching, and then analyzing and evaluating in seminar process. And the last one is the evaluating and selecting process in the delegating. Let's check out one by one the low competency and short duration, which is direct action. Leader directs the follower or guru directs the student. In this case, the leader or the guru stated that just do it this way to solve the problem or just do it with this formula. The next, now, low competency and medium duration. The training. The leader trains the follower or guru trains the student. Second is, you know, there are many ways for the problem. Or, you know, there are many formulas. Next is the low competency with long duration, the lecturing. The leader lectures the followers or guru lectures the students. So this is the detail of the situation, or this is the concept behind our formula. Now, next is the for the center column, the moderate competency of the followers. For the situation is the discussion. The young leader discusses things with senior followers. This one, young lieutenant, discusses challenges 
in the faculty is the senior doctor. Or the second case, the young medical doctor discusses things with senior nurse. Next one is the modest competency with medium duration, the mentoring. The leader mentors the followers or the guru mentors the students. The second is I chose this formula, just use it. I use this formula, just use it. In this case, we have problem for the follower. The follower asking the mentor what to do or which formula or which solution is the best so far. So this is the process, the mentor. Then we have the body and high competency with long duration. This is the specialty or the uniqueness of the coaching process. The leader coaches the follower or guru coaches the student. The second is pain, the consequences before you choose the, the solution. And let's consider every formula has con consequences. Next is the high competency with medium duration, the seminar. The leader or guru acts as facilitator while two or more groups of followers or students make support and present. The second is let's see what you found and concluded. Then let's listen what others say. And now, last but not least, is for high competency of the followers with saturation of interaction, the delegating process. The leader delegates the follower or guru delegates the student. The second case, come on, think out of the box to solve the problem. Or, if possible, make a new formula. So, are you ready to develop your people as a leader? Do you want to be the good leader? The organization needs people and organizational development. You need the learning and developing center, or at least learning and development program. The GE way by the club to have corporate executive concern. And later on, from the headquarters, they moved to Cotton Field, something like Comfort, for the Leadership Development Center. In this case, in this situation, there is better access among them, the next leader, or the next leader, from the preparation of the to be the next leader of the corporation. Now, let's focus on training and coaching. We have already know that uh, from the low competence to the moderate competence, we need to be improved. The followers need to be improved. First, for the medium duration is the training. The training, which is the most famous way to improve the Follower or the people is the training. And after the follower or the people already move, already improve to be the moderate level of the competency, then we can conduct the coaching process, which is the longer duration of the process. So we need coaching. So people development process, you know. The most popular is training and coaching, and both are very important. Training process should be done prior to the coaching process. Why? This is in order to make the coaching process be effective. So what next? Let them do that. Delegate. Delegate is the highest 
process in this whole process of development. In delegation, the leader only has short time for the briefing. The appointed person should be in high level of competency. The appointed person should know the standard method all and all has the attitude of being beyond the box. And the job should be very challenging, very challenging and in time frame, very short time frame. Now, what is the conclusion? And get ready to direct, to develop, and to delegate. And the unit has wrapped it up. We already explored the group leader process for direct, to direct, to develop, and to delegate. From example, up to conclusion. So, Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.